the age old question. Click up, dupsado, dupsado, click up. Either one? Both? None? What are we doing? Do we need them all? Stay tuned for the answer. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and today I want to answer the question that many of you have posed. ClickUp versus Dubsado. What do we use each one for? Are we using both? Are we just using one of them? They all seem so similar. What are we doing with this? I know, they do seem really, really similar, but I actually use them in quite different scenarios. They're all with the same client. So make sure, because YouTube has been a little bit drunk as of late and some of my favorite subscribers suddenly realize they're not getting notifications anymore, make sure you are subscribed right, right down there and hit that bell because we also got some surprises coming up and you do not want to miss those. So make sure you hit that bell too. Now what we're talking about today, ClickUp versus Dubsado. I have gotten this question so often and I completely understand how this can be really confusing because both are often sold for the same kind of use case scenario, for the same kind of ways to make your life easier in your business. Now we internally use ClickUp for a really, really specific set of tasks and we use Dubsado for a really specific set of tasks. With that, let's start with the customer journey. I called you like, hey, you are awesome. I want to work with you. How can I work with you? You've done your discovery call. You've done the whole sales pitch thing. Everything is fine. They want to work with you. That means they need a proposal. They need to sign a contract. And most importantly, they need to pay you, right? That's where we use Dubsado. And that actually already lines out my favorite three features in Dubsado that we use like nearly every day. Let's jump back to the beginning. We said client calls you, they're ready, they signed up, you completely sold them on the discovery call and they wanna give you money. We wanna make that really, really, really easy and simple. That needs to happen like that. With that, the moment, and I hope you have packages. If you are still doing custom proposals, please, please, please jump on a discovery call with me. I promise you, you can put those in packages. But I digress, it needs to be packages or you're just gonna make yourself crazy writing proposals and they never go out. But we know you are really smart, you have those packages already ready. I don't even need to worry about that. With that, what happens now, I get off this phone call, I get my follow-up email ready that has a link to my three coaching packages. Actually, I only have two left. Package number one, cool, we are taking it easy and slow, we just have a couple of calls. Package number two, we are kicking some booty and we have weekly calls. There we go. Client fills in the information on top, chooses a package, sends it off. Favorite feature in Dubsado? Once they send that off, they are automatically getting displayed the contract, which is a standard contract. You're working with me. You're supposed to be paying. You already saw the proposal. Cool. Sign here. Done. Awesome. Next step in the same process, they are getting the first invoice, first month's invoice right there. Meaning the moment I got off the call, sent my clients the email with the link to that proposal within five minutes. They have approved the proposal, chosen their favorite package, signed the contract and paid the first month down. And I didn't do nothing with it. Signing up a client like that, love it. Favorite feature in Dubsado. Now my second favorite feature in Dubsado, automated payments. I have clients on a retainer, no matter if that was passed in my agency where they had maintenance contracts for their websites or whatever it is, they have got monthly invoices. And to make it really easy for them and me not having to send any reminders for those invoices, there's a little box right on the bottom. They check that once and every single month that money gets pulled out of their account automatically and I don't even have to worry about it. How easy is it to make money like that? Who wants to run after invoices, right? Feature number three, my client onboarding. I've already talked about that in a past video of how my client onboarding looks like, but let's, let's head on over to my Dubsado and I actually show you how that looks like and what happens. You can see right here, this is my standard workflow when a client went through that process of giving me all the information, signing the contract and paying 
their first month's bill. They then are getting an email of, hey, welcome to the ClickUp party. Love to have you here. So much fun. Stay tuned. You are getting all the rest of the information shortly. We then activate the portal and all the things, making sure they are an official client in Dubsado. They are getting their portal instructions, meaning how can they actually access their own portal? How can they see their invoices? There is another bonus feature for you. Client portal with all their invoices, with all their email contra everything is in there automatically I don't have to touch it I don't have to set up an automation for that it's just there so when at the end of the year their bookkeeper is like what did you put that money for thinking they just bought another monitor or another camera now they actually put their money into business growth here are the invoices makes it so easy but I digress once all of that is set up and their technical admin stuff is done they are getting an email <laughs> and I need to show you this email you're gonna appreciate this I had so much fun with this email. This email goes out to go send them the initial intake form. I have quite an intensive intake form to make sure I really, really understand what's happening in their business. And what I do with this is I sent them a funny email, making it nice and easy of, hey, by the way, go take the dog out, go pick up your Starbucks on me, by the way, right there, and then go sit down and fill it out. Make it easy, cool, done. And the moment they submitted that to me, they then get again a follow-up email that says, cool, awesome, we got everything, go schedule your first call. And all of that happened without me ever touching anything. There is no third-party integration tool that might be breaking, that doesn't fire, API is not calling, no webhooks, no nothing. It just works. And this is the end where we stop using ClickUp. Meaning from, hey, I wanna hire you too, sweet, all the questions are answered, ready for the first call. That is the time frame where we use Dubsado. And the only other time we come back here for any client work is monthly invoices. That's it. That's where Dubsado shines. Now, where Dubsado doesn't do that well a job is task management. They have task management in here. They have something, something. Again, I don't even use the scheduler. It's not as smooth as I would like it to be, but task management. Who better for task management than ClickUp, right? You are on a ClickUp channel, so what else would I be talking about? But I digress. I'm having too much fun talking with you guys today. So the moment that client is onboarded and we have all the questions and the first call is scheduled, we have a client folder right here in ClickUp. If I solely work with a client on ClickUp, I might move that into their space and build support, but that's a whole nother story. In this case, when a consulting client comes in, they get their own folder because I can easily manage tasks in here. They are already learning how to use ClickUp, how to use it efficiently, and what to do with it simply by using it with me. What better way to learn a tool, right? So with task management, they're getting their first couple of tasks with the savings and all the things my clients get. I assign this to them, I set the due date, meaning I also don't have to worry about reminding them. ClickUp is gonna remind them all for myself. I don't have to do anything. ClickUp does it for me. I also, as you have seen in the past, have training set up in here. Meaning, again, while using ClickUp, they are learning how to use ClickUp. Easy training right in here. I don't have to deal with a website. I don't have to deal with setting up a course platform and do these things and those things. Simple and easy client training in here. They can go through it. They can use ClickUp. They can learn how to use ClickUp. Check off, done, perfect. But not only that, we also have regular to-dos in here, meaning when a client commits to doing something on the call, that goes straight into the to-do underneath the standard tasks that are already in there. We have an assessment in here. Again, I already showed you that in another video too, where we assess my clients or their team on how they feel about ClickUp to really get an idea and an understanding. And last but not least, a call list where we collect the links to all of the call recordings that have happened. Now the client can easily see that they got their weekly calls. There is no question open of, did we talk? Didn't we talk? Where is that? What's the transcription? Where can I find that information? It's all right here. And with that setup, ClickUp just is way, way better than what Dobsado has. But ClickUp can't handle the nice and easy, smooth client onboarding like Dobsado has it. So for us, both of those tools work perfect 
with each other, client onboarding, client management, and tracking. And we use them both interchangeably. And now that you have made it so far, have you checked that you are subscribed and you got the notification on? Because we got fancy stuff coming up. You do not want to miss it. And give it a thumbs up to tell YouTube, hey, I like what that crazy German is doing. Go show it to other people, YouTube. Be so nice. And I see you soon again in my next video.